Hi, thank you for tuning in to my channel. I have a treat for you today. I'm going to go through all four of my hats that I'm using in my videos right now and explain them in as great, as, in as great of detail as I can so you know where I'm coming from, right? A little bit. <laughs> oh, my name's Carrie. Carrie, my four eyes to see my channel. And uh, I will, like I said, I'm going to show you what my channel is about presently. Okay, thank you again for tuning in. And thank you for listening to the end. First off, I'm going to switch my background here a little bit. And... Whoops. No, okay. This is my uh, hat that I will be wearing. I'm going to try and speak up a little bit for you so the sound is better. I'm working on it. Okay, guys. Okay, this and I'm also going to work on editing so you get this forward instead of backwards. My hats are going to all be backwards. I, I'll do it. I'll do it. Mm -hmm. Okay, this first hat is you're in my story you're in I play with words a lot for eyes to see is actually you know it's it's, it's for eyes to see I've had to get three wait, it could be four new pair of glasses since I started urine therapy because my eyes have changed and I can't see through the glasses anymore because they're too strong. Mm -hmm. So, yes, if you see this hat in my videos, you'll know that I'm talking about urine therapy. And I've been doing urine therapy for 14, well, January 18th, 17th or 18th, I think 18th. January 18th, coming up, is going to be 15 years. 15 years young, right? And I will put, I put Lord, Sh Lord Shiva, Shiva in my background because that story is in, in conjunction and hand in hand with the story of Christ is what got me started with urine therapy. John, Dr. John Livingston is one of the first things I read. And actually this should be, you know, Jesus. I'm not sure about on the cross. You know, it's part of the story. Anyway, um, Dr. John Livingston said, when he said, found in the Bible that Jesus says, drink from thine own cistern, right? I believe that that little phrase is something that sunk into my heart that morning when I downed that 16 ounce glass that very first day. And you don't have to start big like that, guys. Mm -mm. You can start with a few drops under your tongue. It still gives your body the message that you are doing it. And it starts to work and function in a whole new way. Right? Yeah, so when you see me wearing this hat in the thumbnail, you'll know that I'm going to be giving hints. Why? Okay, what we're walking, we're watching presently is cancer being dissolved. You know, Lord Shiva destroys all that is evil. And, you know, the definitions of words, it's a tough, it's a tough thing, right? <clears throat> and I don't want to play with anyone's religion. I look at scripture my own way. <laughs> so, if I offend anyone, I want to apologize or, um, Excuse me if I do, because I do not have any intention to offend in any way. 
your belief is yours, right? <clears throat> Mine, <clears throat> excuse me. Mine is a little different. <laughs> it's okay. We're all different and we're all the same, right? So when we're in this hat, we've got new, better things, all kinds of things about urine therapy, right? All kinds of things, what I'm doing, how I'm doing it, not going to share with you today I'm uh, I'll share with you that is the hat of the future okay this is a kind of a descriptive kind of video real quick maybe hope hopefully quick let's see number two is right in here yeah This is my flat earth hat. Let's see if I can get my $8 selfie stick to just be a tripod for a minute, honey. Okay. This hat for eyes to see it's flat. Okay. So if you see this hat and I'm doing my video, you'll know that I'm talking about flat earth and that that means that, let me see, I'll bring you in a little closer here. The kinds of videos you might see me um, showing you a moon, a sunset or sunrise or moon, sun and moon in the in the sky at the same time, which is impossible. I may be showing you a, a sunrise that is impossible on a heliocentric model. I may show you crepuscular rays shining through the clouds. Something happening in the moment, right? That shows us that we live on a flat plane. So if you see me wearing this hat <laughs> in the thumbnail, this is what I want to, sh this is what I'll be demonstrating, <clears throat> the flat earth. So what I'm saying is that the moon and sun, not I, there's a we, <laughs> I'm not alone in the flat earth view. And maybe I might be in my neighborhood and in my town for sure, but there's a group of us that think that feel, have observed through time. I have observed, uh, it used to make me crazy. I'm very, very grateful for the flat earth community, you guys, because, <clears throat> oh wait, I forgot part of my throat. I am so grateful for the flat earth community because I, I was seriously felt like I was going crazy. I felt like we were going to flip and there were so many unanswered questions that when when I heard there are people think the earth is flat, it all just like dominoes got answered. All these hundreds of questions I got that I had been asking all my life and gotten told in school there are answers to those questions. Just study your book and shut up. Mm -hmm. Through college, even in college. Yeah. So, yeah, when you see this, it's flat. Okay. Theory being, the sun and the moon are traveling over us, and there's an ice wall around. <laughs> it's hard to point with. <laughs> Okay, there's an ice wall that in, and that's what we call the South Pole. And the moon and sun travel around, and we can actually travel, which seems like we're on a globe. It can be very similar. And so the deception can be uh, quite convincing, right? The globe. But this map. 
I'm not sure we know where it came from. I know where I got it from on uh, Amazon, I suppose, or Google, right? <clears throat> this is another thing I bought a few years ago, and I told you on YouTube I would talk to you about it, which I have not done yet. This book, to me, has very many characteristics the same as the map. I'm not sure we know where either either of them come from. The Voynich Manuscripts, if you haven't ever uh, checked into it, you can't really read it. Nobody's been able to transcribe it or read it. I mean, look at them. The pictures are just amazing of these pools and stuff. Right, you guys? That they say things like there are nymphs in the pools. I have studied this for mega mega hours. And now this I I should look at with my microscope because you there is so much intricate writing on this map. And it's not English, it's the same, I believe it's the same writing as this. I'll get, wait, you know what? I don't like to talk about the future because I'm not sure what's going to happen in the future. But I do have a microscope and a laptop I could look at and take pictures of this. And that would be awesome for videos with this cap on, right? Yeah, so when, without getting too much into descriptions, this kind of thing and getting out there and showing you how I learned about it moment to moment when you see this cap, right? Okay, so take that one off. Now I'll show you another cap. Let's see, let's go over here. <laughs> One thing about my style, you guys, is that I don't do a lot of... I like to do it all in one clip. <laughs> and when I don't use the greatest equipment, I love challenge. I love... I love it. I, I mean, I love, I love God, actually. And... And he's the one, that's the whole thing that guides us in moments is our thoughts. And I, is God our thoughts, you know? Okay, this hat. And I had a little feedback from a subscriber. Oh no, I just broke her freaking head off. I inherited this from my mom. Thank God for epoxy. This is my mom. Um, she, I got this from her. She was a nurse. <laughs> it made, made me think of these videos that John Levi put on, uh, I think a couple years ago. It's an older video about headless people with their heads in their chest. Oh, I shouldn't really talk about other things. This is about this cap. <laughs> but now my nurse. Isn't she beautiful? I got from my mom. My mom was a nurse. That's going to fit on there quite well. Yeah. <sighs> kind of ironic. I shouldn't have been trying to move. I... Well, I don't want to shit on myself. Okay. This beautiful girl. And it's not just my mom. And this isn't just my mom. This is about things that
things that we're kind of guided to do that are old wives tales or nurses, you know, the nurse inside of us can gift us with things or our mother taught us when we were children or growing up, little hints. So when you see this cap, I'm, I'm talking to the nurse inside me, inside you, that might want to do something else, something that's not urine therapy related. If I have the other urine my story cap on, that will be urine therapy. This will be health and wellness hints that we aren't taught or told by our doctors necessarily. Right? And <clears throat> because our moms hold a lot of clues. And I think there's been a lot of us who lost our moms early due to COVID or Alzheimer's or both in my, con in my instance. And there could have been gifts, a lot more gifts they could have given us. If they would have lived longer. <laughs> this was another thing. So when I'm wearing this cap, this is what my mom gave me. <clears throat> hey, I'm doing pretty good. I haven't cried. <laughs> Crying is good. It's okay, you guys. And I want, I, I don't want to cry, but I will if it comes. My mom gave me this when I was in the coma. In 2006, I had a rupture to a brain aneurysm, and I have so much compassion for my mom in those moments because I was her first kid, <clears throat> and, and thank you to surgeons in that moment and the flight for life that flew me to Denver because there weren't surgeons in Colorado Springs. <clears throat> that could do it and this little girl is uh, says miracles happen let's see if I can get oh it's going to be backwards again Mirac oh, oh. miracles happen I had this in the hospital and she she and I she had it most of these years, I think. Yeah. And so I, I inherited it recently. She died last year of COVID. And she had dementia. Which, um, anyway, I'm getting off track there. When I have this hat on, I'm going to be giving you little clues. Over the years, the wisdom of the elder in me and the nurse in me that I have nurtured to be my caregiver all these years. Uh, since I've had the cancer all these years, there's not a caregiver out there that knows about urine therapy very much. And so they're going to, you know, they, they, they do the best they can. And my mom, bless her heart, she did the absolute best she could. And she did great, <laughs> right? I, I wish, wish is a weird word, isn't it? You know, there's a lot of people... mom, dad, in my, my world, and some, I lost a cousin recently, you know, there's a lot of people we've lost, <clears throat> um, there's a urine therapist in all of us, you guys, you know, we, we have to be our own nurse when you do urine therapy, though. So that's what this is about. Sorry to get off track. Excuse me, I should say. Excuse me, we're getting off track a little bit. So you see this cap. I'm going to be giving you 
little hints, um, things I might be doing in addition to urine therapy that are health related. That makes it easy, right? Okay, so that's one, two, <clears throat> we're on to the fourth cap and hopefully I won't break anything. Let's see. Everybody has an artistic side to them. All right. <clears throat> there we go. Okay. Here's my fourth cap. It says tartar boots. Now, you might think you know, you Tartarian, the Tartarian community doesn't know me yet. And <clears throat> so I don't really deserve a boots cap yet. Uh, that's what I would think if I were watching me. So this is a cap for me as I'm making, as you see this cap, that means I'm going to be looking at Not this. This is just our masonry that is. <laughs> anyway, what I'm going to be looking at is <clears throat> buildings, old buildings in different places. And yeah, looking at a lot of the things that Tartarian community looks at. They look at mud flood windows. You look at steeples in Antiquatec and I don't know if I pronounce that right and the st stuff on the tops of the roofs and buildings and steeples of churches and bigger old old buildings that kind of give us hints about our past <clears throat> that we don't know anything about yet we can uncover so much with that so this hat when you see this hat i'm going to be looking at uh old old things possibly buildings maybe buildings maybe rocks maybe melted rocks you know there's a lot there's a lot of boots on the ground things i can do here in colorado and I can travel. I want to travel and get good boots pictures. So if you're seeing this cap, <laughs> and I apologize for wearing it too soon, there are some amazing researchers out there that deserve, and, and not deserve, I don't deserve a cap, would wear this cap. You know, we're all doing... A lot of good boots on the ground stuff. People going out there and digging in caves and looking around under buildings and getting in these old buildings that are falling apart. <laughs> you know, that a lot of people, I watch channels that don't know that they're looking at Tartarian buildings. You know, maybe they all they do on their channel is walk the streets of downtown New York. I watch those channels and look at the buildings and, and look how old, how many times have we been reset, you guys? Anybody got any comment down below? How many times you think if we get reset on an average of every, what, 100 years? What's your view? On, what, what is your view on that, right? Well, those are the kinds of things we'll be talking about. Um, I have one, um, one thing that I've been looking at. Other people talking about buildings and Tartarian thinking. And I haven't heard people talking about it too much or comparing. And that is mortar spaces. That's the one thing I've been looking at for years never had a word like Tartarian or or anything that would connect 
our thinking to the whole plane where everybody on the plane has similar buildings, similar style of architecture and similar masonry, right? And I'm not talking this kind of masonry. I'm talking old. And I noticed years ago, even though I'm not even sure I even brought it up to another human, it would be a thought bouncing in my head. The space. No, I have said it out loud. I've said it out loud that you can tell that we have de-evolved. We are going backwards by the space in our masonry. I mean, look at the, the things they can't explain or rebuild. That mortar space is virtually gets more and more non-existent as you go back through time. Right? So you can tell, and I'm not trying to call us stupid because we're human in this point in time. It's not it's not that, but it kind of is. I mean, so we don't know how to build without mortar. And that's something we knew in the past. There's a whole bunch of things like that, actually. It's not just mortar space. Spaces. But anyway, back on track here. I got the boots, Tartar boots hat. There are all kinds of wonderful buildings we can look at that I don't have to drive too far to see. I can go out east and look at things that are on Google Earth and see if they're real. That's what I'd like to do. You know, stuff like that. So if you see this hat, that's what I'll be looking at is the Tartar buildings. Um, and explaining more to you what I mean by that. Mud flood windows and um, arches, arched windows. There's a certain kind of masonry that we did and that was real, very, very old. And we kind of came into this country and claimed it. Free masonry. Woohoo! <laughs> I founded it. I didn't found it any. Mm -mm. No founding plaques with my name on them. Well, I, I, I'm... Okay. I'm going to go downtown, get good pictures for you, and that's what this hat's about. Not just downtown. In the mountains, too. We'll go everywhere, you guys. Thank you for watching. What are we? Oh, wow, we're at 28 minutes. Thanks for hanging, if you're still hanging with me. Thank you for your thumbs up on your on the subscription thing and hitting the I can see it we got finally broke the groundhog day <laughs> I'm up to 3.34 thousand subscribers I love you guys we're doing it we're we're gonna make it through this reset together see you next time